Hello folks, Silly Moustache here. I'm indebted to M. Harry who has suggested this video and I'm discussing acoustic guitar scale length and string gauges and I'm including a little bit about picks as well. First of all, scale length, what is it? Um, it is the length measured from where the nut meets the fretboard to the centre of the 12th fret times 2. We cannot measure accurately from nut to saddle as one might expect because as you know saddles are normally angled to compensate for string thickness. That gets very complicated. A little bit more about that later. <laughs> Whilst there are no absolute scale lengths uh, standards. Um, Martin Gibson pretty much dictated how things are commonly used in steel strung flat top guitars. Um, so the standards with which we are now familiar, let's talk about Martin first of all. Martin developed the sizes of the guitars ranging from small to large, size 2, size 1, size 0, 0, zero and 0, zero, zero and later the Dreadnought and the ON. Uh, these were based on size of audience and venues for the performer. And they start from small. Two means amateur. Size O, you realise we passed by one. And there were some ones, but they weren't mentioned much. Size zero was a concert. Size zero. These little tiny things. Concert, not part, concert. A double O was a grand concert, and a triple O, this size, was an auditorium guitar. Now, just how many people you get into an auditorium and how large an auditorium was never adequately explained. Um, but that gives you an idea of how um, things have changed. Uh, note the OM, orchestra model, was a modified triple O uh, designed for orchestral use, i.e. to compete with the Gibson archtops of the time. Further, the 14 fret dreadnought replaced the OM. The OM was discontinued in 1933 and uh, the dreadnought came in in 1934. It was also initially called the OM. Confused? Mm. On size twos, and we don't see them, there are some model 217s around. Uh, built by Martin and described in their catalogue as general knockabout use. Um, the scale length was 24.5 inches. On sizes 0 and 00, zero or O and double O, the scale lengths were 24.9, excuse me. <coughs> 24.9. <9. coughs> and on the 000, zero, zero and latterly on the dreadnoughts, 25.4. Now, all of these numbers are approximate <clears throat> because they were rounded up to one decimal place. I'm not quite sure what the thinking was there, but um, I, uh, I'm going to give you a referral, a link to someone that will explain this much better than I later. Um, Gibson scales were, I think, generally speaking, 25 inches on their arch tops, but very variable. On, um, on their acoustics, ranging from 24 and 5 eighths, 24 and 7 eighths. Um, I found this virtually impossible to verify online, but much more info is given on that, uh, very eloquently by a gentleman called David Collins of Ann Arbor Guitars on YouTube, and I shall put the link down uh, underneath this video. Now, I'm sorry I have to return, refer to my notes here, but there's a lot of information here. Short scale, long scale. These are often referred to, um, but I think we ought to have short scale, medium scale, or standard scale, and long scale. Generally speaking, a short scale is anything less than 25 inches. The Martin standard scale was 25.4, or still is. And I would say that anything longer than, say, 25.5, 
may be considered long scale, but we're getting into baritone guitars there. My preferences. I essentially follow the guidelines for Martin and Colin Specs. And for flat picking, and remember that I'm an old bluegrass rhythm guitarist, uh, I need tension. So I prefer the Collins scale, 25.5, mm -hmm, uh, with medium strings, which are 13 to 56. And here is one of my 12 fret dreadnoughts, 25.5, medium, 13 to 56. There we go. However, um, I, um, where am I? I've lost my place. Oh yes, and I use um, blue chip uh, Tad 50, 346 style, 1.25 thick um, picks. Tad means the large triangle, 346 is the De Andrea specification of the large triangle size. Um, for light flat picking, finger picking on my, I, I will use my 12 fret triple O at home. And this has same standard scale, 25.5, but I use light gauge strings for this. That's 12 to 54. Incidentally, I use the same strings for a shorter scale. Um, this Eastman is a replica of a Martin size O, O28, and it has a 24.9 uh, scale as does my double O, which isn't here at the moment. I only get so many guitars in this little room. And my Waterloo, which is kind of a replica of an L double O, has a 24.7 scale. All of these I will use 12 to 54s. And if I'm playing with a pick on them, I will tend to use the uh, slightly lighter one millimeter Tad 40 pick. Um, in short, my flat tops only use medium or light Denario Fossa bronze strings. Um, on my arch tops, I use medium gauge again, but nickel wound strings. I'm not quite sure why. And on my 12 strings, I use medium gauge uh, Denario EJ37s, for instance, 12 12 to 54 30, but they're tuned down one tone, D to D. Now, a long time ago, I did some calculations on a website I found that gave um, uh, string, string set tensions. And I've got these just for reference and beware these are approximate. So medium gauge on a 25.5 scale is 185 pounds. Light gauge standard scale, 165 pounds, 20 pounds difference. Uh, light gauge on a 24.9, 157 pounds. Uh, a 12 string tuned to D, uh, 12, 12, 54, 30s, 24.9 inch scale, 256 pounds, which is appreciably more, which is why uh, 12 strings have that bad reputation for lifting up, having high actions. Talking about actions, uh, Collings uh, have, um, have very good specs detailed on their website, and uh, they have a scale, um, a, an, an action recommended on all theirs of uh, 625 and, well, 332 and 232, really. Uh, I tend to have my actions a little bit higher. Those are about um, 80 and these are about 110. That tends to suit me better uh, because I'm a heavy-handed old rhythm picker, I guess. One exception to all of this is this one. This is a Santa Cruz built in the style of a Gibson 1934 Roy Smeck, which was only ever designed as a Hawaiian guitar. But Jackson Brown and others, and a builder called McAllister, um, uh, converted them for Spanish playing because they have a, a very deep, five inch deep body and they have a certain strutting and they have a very full sound but they are a shorter scale 24 and 7 uh, 24 and 3 quarters scale now um, I use medium gauge strings on this 
and I have used it in performance um, three or four times and I found that I overplay it because it has slightly less tension, has the same action as all my others, has the same strings as my dreadnoughts and my triple O, but like my triple O, I tend to overplay it a little bit, even with medium strings. But it's all right for a small club, um, an intimate setting, uh, and playing solo. I don't regard it as a combo instrument, but I do love playing it. So, that's my little roundup. Uh, yes, you can see from my collection, I've gone from dreadnoughts to jumbo, to triple O, to double O, to L double O, to O. I like to have a choice. Um, one other thing that I would add, obviously the Martin ethos of small guitars for small venues was about um, volume and projection. Uh, but I don't think there are any absolutes. This little guitar made by Eastman. While having a little bit more focus on the mid to treble. Uh, is not that much quieter than my dreadnought. But you're going to get more of a bass focus. Although Collings try to balance the, um, the sounds of the strings equally. So, um, of course, I'm using examples of different makes because nobody has given me a Collins size O or a double O as yet. But, of course, I do have the Collins L double O, which has a, a budget Gibson sound, which I have to confess I'm very fond of. So there we are. Um, I hope that has answered M. Harry's um, question and suggestion. I hope that's useful. As always, I welcome comments and questions. And by the way, remember that um, as the world has changed over these last few months, I have been dragged into the 21st century and am offering um, lesson stroke sessions via Zoom. And if anybody is interested, my email address will be in the contents below. But please look at the uh, Dave, David Collins, uh, David Collins video on, um, on scale lengths and Gibson's um, checkered history in this matter. Uh, I hope you found this interesting. If you have been, thanks for watching. Bye.